So welcome to everyone all over the globe. We are at the proud home of Palmeiras Football Club, the Allianz Park. And here we have Anderlecht against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Select have elected to go 4 5 1. Yeah, this is a setup that offers easier flexibility whether you want to attack and or defend. So it's down to business here. Oh, he's broken through. He's gone for it. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Thiago Motta. And that's put paid to a promising move. He's having a look round. And it's Neymar. Kuzawa. He's gone away. Hits one! This was gone, presumably for offside. Mm, I thought he might just get the benefit of any doubt then. Keeper goes long. And that's one way to annoy his teammates. It's anyone's ball. Drexler! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. And it has to be said, an absolute gift. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Oh, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. He's left his man. Draxler. Up he gets. Neymar, Neymar. One of a type. He's brilliant. And already they're looking to run away with it. What a super header. Dispatched beautifully. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Paris Saint-Germain, grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0, it's Cavani! This could fall anywhere! Looks to drop one in. Find 
run and he's happy to keep going. Going through. That is terrific skill. Plenty waiting in the middle. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Oh, fists it away. to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Now it's Cavani. Cuts it out. Cavani tries to get it forward quickly. And he's straight offside. And there is the half-time whistle. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Paris Saint-Germain just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Paris Saint-Germain. And the second half gets on the way. Di Maria. Cavani. Has gone out. That's a good foot in there. Now it's Neymar. It's a great overlap from left back. Neymar, he's got away. He's left his man. Out wide to the right. He has a swing at it. He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Just one in it now. The game takes on a whole new complexion. However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Anderlecht get themselves back into contention. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. Cavani, great lead! 
Oh, not the best of headers. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Paris Saint-Germain have decided now is the time to make their final change. They have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Going through, this is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Cavani gets it back. Real chance to break. Paris Saint-Germain probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. And he's made certain that won't get through. Almost there, and the players can feel it. And the referee brings it to a close. Paris Saint-Germain have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen?